up everybody today we're playing heroes and generals and i'm gonna show you how to be an assault sniper all right headshot all right so it's one man one american man versus all of germany sound familiar yes much like a rambo movie or something Except this is World War Two. And what am I carrying? For uh, what am I packing? What's 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 my boom boom stuff? Well, I've got a uh, a the uh, American bolt action rifle. And ooh, let's see. And if for some reason I cannot shoot this guy's head off, even though it's it's blinding there. Oh, oh, okay, he's dead anyway. All right. So as I was saying, yes, I got the American rifle. Uh, with a scope on it and that by default gives me the title of assault sniper and I, okay i just made it up I, I didn't make it up it's made up it's not a real thing but i think it should be a real thing because um, it means that oh, oh yeah take it take it oh oh i gotta reload yeah mm, yeah Mm, nice. Oh, oh, man down, medic. Yeah, so yeah, it basically means that I, I can sit in the middle of the range. I don't have to be sitting up on the hill, poking my bullets at people from miles away, like most snipers in this game. I can just jump in the action and shoot them up. Usually, one shot kill. Uh, gonna adjust my. Oh yeah! Oh, what? It means I'm a mid-range sniper. You know, I can pick off people in the middle, not just from miles away. And it's quite—it's quite an effective tactic uh, for helping it. What? What is that guy up to? Reversing in there to try and not get shot. I think that's his tactic. Oh, but it didn't work. Sorry, buddy. But yeah. So basically, it works out pretty well for me, as you'll see in this video. I can pretty much, um, I you know, if I come across a sniper as well, not a problem. See, I can hit that guy. If I can hit that guy, I can hit a sniper. But you know, these German guys—they're pretty hard to see. They blend in with the shadows, like. Like, like other shadows. And see, I can get, you know, right up against these guys. Usually, you know, if you've got a higher power scope, you can't really hit them. Grenade, nope. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, one more, one more. Come on. Oh, no scope, no scope. That usually doesn't work because there's crazy hip fire stuff that happens, but it worked. <sighs> Three kills. But yeah, I, I love this game. I gotta say, it's it's great. Um, I was playing it uh, with my oh moving target. What? <laughs> What are you up to, man? Get out of your car, quick, so I can shoot you. No, oh, no, oh, oh, there he is. Mmm, missed. Yeah. Yeah, I love this game. It's, um, it was really, really, really hard on my, my, my old graphics card. I had a, um, 
an a, a HD 770 Radeon and um, 7, 750 or something like that and it was just yeah chugged. I, I couldn't get I get like 24 frames when I'm scoping in but I bought a new graphics card and everything's good everything's good and here I'm just showing you some of my AA skills um, you know they're important if for every sniper and you need to know how to shoot planes with AA and uh, I think the planes are too tough I think they're too tough I, I mean I get that it's pretty frustrating to be shot out of the sky by a Well... Oh, oh, good and tag. Bye bye. Never go into a building with your scope rifle. This is, this is going to be a great lesson on how to be a, a sniper, I know. You guys will be pros in no time. Boom! But yeah, I love this game for its, uh, you know, immersive World War II feel. It's epic. And competitive game is pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Except when the Germans, as usual, have five tanks and five planes, and you just die all the time. All the time. But generally I can still get, you know, maybe 30 kills and... 20 deaths, something like that. Maybe, maybe 10 deaths on a on a good day. But I'd love to see the Russians, man. There is a Russian faction in this game, and you don't hear anything from them. Thanks for watching, guys. This was Heroes and Generals being a mid-range sniper, assault sniper.